Bonjour à tous, hello allemaal, hello everybody. My name is Anna, I am Astro Lady Tarot. Today it's very warm, the window's open, and I'm going to unpack this beautiful tarot deck, so get ready. I just picked up the package today from the post office. It got lost for a little while. Doesn't matter, I got it. This is the deck that I was talking about during my Tarathon hour, um, the traditional Tarot de Marseille. Now, you may know that I am half French, half Dutch, half French, and um, I have a lot of family living in Dijon, France. And so I had no idea that the oldest, um, what is it again? The oldest version of the Tarot de Marseille, I don't know, type two? Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't, I don't know and I didn't do any research because I just wanna, <laughs> I just wanna get into this, this, this beautiful deck. Um, the oldest one is from 1709 and it came from Dijon, at least. That's what I got. It's beautiful either way, but there's just that little, you know, extra story there for me to justify getting this beautiful deck. So this is a deck made by Yves Renault, and he is located in France, and um, he makes this beautiful, these beautiful high-quality decks that are really affordable. You know, the the real cost would probably be in shipping for most people. I just had to open it today and, you know, of course, bring you with me, so... Okay, I got a card here. Oh, I love the Three of Swords, especially in the Marseille. Well, actually in Rider Smith too, and the Toth, but Marseille Three of Swords has something special. Wow! These, this is beautiful. Okay. Bonjour, Anna. Here is your tarot of Pierre Madenier. Je pense qu'il a écrit Dijon est une belle ville où j'ai fait des recherches sur ce tarot. Cordial, Yves. Ouais, j'ai du mal à lire, <laughs> à lire son écriture, mais je pense bien que c'est ça qu'il a écrit. So, as you may hear, I will <laughs> switch between English and French just to, you know, have some fun, switch it up a little bit, and also maybe it's just the language that this particular deck speaks, but um, beautiful, beautiful. I, I don't even know what to say here, it's just, I'm excited. So, here we, we can see it's the King of Rods or Baton. Le Roi de Bâton, Tarot Pierre Madenier. It's a hardcover box. It's beautiful, this kind of off-white. Tarot from Pierre Madenier, 1709, card master and engraver in Dijon, France, from 1709 until 1740. So a very short period of time, actually. This is a limited edition of one of the oldest and most beautiful model known of the tarot said of Marseille, based on the unique, complete deck preserved in the Swiss National Museum of Zurich. Deck of cards wrapped in the reproduction of its original sheet of packaging. So, that's what it says on the side. And then the same in French. Oh, this is number 115 from 1500. Get rid of that. Beautiful. Two of coins in the back. <laughs> so this is Pierre Madonnier, Quartier du Prince. I don't even know where that is, but... So I was in Dijon visiting my family when I ordered this deck. And um, of course I, you know, uh, shipped it to, made it ship to Holland because I wouldn't, I didn't stay that long, but let's get into this. So these are the backs, beautiful. And we have two title cards, one in English and one in French. So it's really those two languages that I'm also doing in this video. Wow, that is textured, textured paper. <laughs> 
Look at that. Hmm. Carte fine et ta en tarot faite par Pierre Madenier demeurant proche le cimetière Notre-Dame à Dijon. I know where that is. I can even put a little clip of the, well, at least the Notre-Dame church that we have there. We have a church in Dijon called Notre-Dame as well. Quartier ordinaire de Monseigneur le Duc, gouverneur de la province de Bourgogne. Because of course Dijon is in Bourgogne. And you may have heard of Dijon uh, mustard. <laughs> and of course Bourgogne is all about, um, well, red wine, but that's maybe the entirety of France. But um, also the... Yeah, like that really rich food, um, for instance, snails. <laughs> so here are the cards. Oh, that's interesting. I don't think that um, this deck was cut from one sheet. It really looks like the card backs are just the exact same on every card. And so that's why we are getting this little you know, the side uh, motif. That's all right. So, interesting texture. Um, it's very smooth, not shiny. So that's nice. Very, oh, I feel that it's nice to shuffle already. Of course, with those beautiful squared corners. So here is the butler. Just look at these friendly, faces. These are beautiful. This is why I chose this deck. Because, uh, wow, it's quite a red papesse. If you want to know a little bit more about Tarot de Marseille type decks, actually I have a few videos up. One on uh, how to read the pips especially, how to read the Tarot de Marseille pips. But then also the one where I've reviewed the uh, Le Chateau du Tarot by Dior. So um, there I talk about a little bit of these, of these uh, Tarot de Marseille secrets. So I really like this because these have... This is a beautiful deck with very traditional colors, as you can see. I feel that, that I love reading Marseille so much that I do need, actually, a traditional deck. So why not get one that is particularly beautiful just look at this it's it really it really looks incredible and I love um, this you know this shading there and also the fact that this line isn't there it just looks so handmade and hand stamped printed and I love all of those little imperfections and for instance here <laughs> There are a lot of um, spelling mistakes for d'orthographe, l'impératrice with an S instead of a C and no apostrophe. So, but gosh, these are so beautiful. The eyes and the faces. Yeah. So, I actually did a poll on my Instagram a while ago now asking you if you thought I needed to get this deck, the 1709, or the other one, which I also really love the look of, but it's definitely a different type of Marseille. It has a lot of Swiss influences, but uh, you guys said I should get this one and I'm glad that you convinced me to do this because it's more of a classic deck, in my opinion. Chariot, so beautiful. Just look at this. This deck has character. This is not like that computer art deck. This is beautiful, a beautiful reproduction. Isn't that what we love in the Tarot de Marseille appreciation, um, you know, world? Beautiful reproductions like these, not like the computer art remake things. 
I feel this is the best of both worlds because I can very much see a lot of the detail that um, Khodorovsky, for instance, and other tarot books, French Tarot de Marseille books, for instance, talk about, but then still have these beautiful colors, deep colors, friendly faces, and that unfinished, you know, like handcrafted look. It doesn't feel like craft paper or anything like that. It's not textured paper at all. It's very smooth, as I said, and just very good cardstock. I feel this this is actually going to be a very nice shuffle. I love this face of Le Pendu. This is a big reason why I chose this deck and I was glad that, you know, the poll had the majority of people voting for this one because in the other deck, uh, it was a very, very different hangman. It was really in the gallows and it was just very different look. I'll try to insert something here. Here we have Arcanum 13. J'adore cette carte. Puis enfin, j'ai un tarot vraiment traditionnel qui me donne envie de parler en français apparemment. <laughs> je ne veux pas vous montrer toutes les cartes, mais le diable, je vais vous montrer parce que, regarde, c'est un flambeau. Et puis on le voit bien en plus. Parce que le flambeau même, il est euh, vert. Et puis là, avec la flamme, en fait, le feu, bien rouge. Parce que souvent dans les tarots modernes, euh, on dirait plutôt une épée. Parce que le feu est coloré de la même façon que les ailes. Donc voilà. J'aime trop le diable qui louche. Enfin un tarot où il y a vraiment écrit la maison Dieu. Must say, I did receive, thanks to a friend, um, this extra card from my favorite deck, the Triomphe de la Luna Paradoxical, which is Marseille-inspired or a Marseille deck, depending on how you see it. <laughs> um, I did receive uh, that extra card that was made later on, uh, where it says in English, but still it says the House of God or House of God. So I do actually have a tower card that says House of God, but now I have a traditional, traditional, traditional in French reproduction and it says La Maison Dieu. Uh, it doesn't say the tower because there is a difference there and yet we see a tower and... Maybe we should get into this card for the Making One Tarot System episodes. Because I don't know when this video is going to be up, but I really plan on making more of those because you you loved it, apparently, for Tarathon. <gasps> Look at how beautiful this is. L'étoile. <laughs> j'adore la lune. Mais j'adore le soleil aussi. Mm. Beautiful face again. Beautiful, beautiful. I want to show you every card, but I'm not going to show you every card. Look at this the unnumbered. Le ma ou le mat. Parce qu'honnêtement, je connais pas ce mot. <laughs> je ne connais pas ce mot. Um, je connais juste dans le tarot, tarot de Marseille. Donc, euh, si vous le savez, ou si vous trouvez une, une preuve, plutôt, parce que ça doit être un mot ancien, non euh, Ouais, s'il vous plaît, dites-le moi en dessous de la vidéo, merci. I even love the little kind of like blurred line effect of the stamp, perhaps being stamped a little bit too much pressed against the paper, and then the red ink also going a little bit outside of the lines. I just love that. Definitely we'll have to bond with this deck because this is just so typical of the Marseille Tarot in its entirety. Um, the pips really start to look the same. 
<laughs> and then also with the same coloration and all of that I'm sure you can see what I mean but it's beautiful I love it Ooh, here we are again with the beautiful friendly faces Palais de coupe Cavalier de coupe <laughs> J'aime bien ses cheveux un peu longs <laughs> Gotta love that beautiful ace of baton. <laughs> C'est vraiment de la qualité, hein? J'aime bien les reines quand même. They all have such character. They really all have their own personality. So, you know, just to help you out, um, the English speaking world, it's Marseille. We pronounce it Marseille. And then also, a lot of people are saying uh, Pierre Madeni or something along those lines. Well, when there is an accent, on the E right there, um, it's Madenier. So you make kind of like that Y sound, Pierre Madenier. And Tarot de Marseille or Marseille Tarot deck. Just so you know, you know, I'm not gonna come after you and scream at you in the comments if you say it wrong. Absolutely not. I'm just here to let you know. Because I figure you want to know. It has such depth. I'm always just um, surprised by that. Just that effect that all of these wands and all of these swords, or baton, and swords have um, in the Marseille. Whereas you can see it's just a stamp, you know. Oh gosh, okay. So this is interesting. I got the Ten of Swords with the swords pointed downwards. And I'm going to have to go through this entire deck to see if I got all of the cards the right way up. Because honestly, I saw some shading in, for instance, the swords suit. Well, right here with the Nine and the Ten of Swords. The shading is either on this side or on this side. So my question is, is it supposed to be like that? Or is it actually all supposed to be with the shading on the same side? Because that is kind of what I think would be a great reference point also to, to figure out whether a card is upright or upside down. So let me know. For now I'm keeping it in the deck this way but I think um, I'm gonna have to go through the, the entire deck also to see in the other suits how to you know figure out um, which way it is. Yeah I mean there are some differences. Just look at this right? The two and the three of wands. You just need to turn one of them upside down and you would have kind of like that continuity of the coloration in the suit. So I'm gonna check that out. All right, let's end with the last card in the deck. The King of Swords, who has little faces in his um, shoulder dress thing, just like the chariot. In his armor, I believe. It's an armor, obviously. Ready to go and fight. So, this is the deck. Beautiful, beautiful. I finally have a traditional Tarot de Marseille with the traditional face cards, the traditional courts, the traditional um, batons and swords as well because of course the swords they start to look like like this 
rather than every one of them having a handle, like uh, for instance in my uh, Triomphe de la Luna. But then again, I know that there are other older traditional or historical decks that actually do have those handles in every card, which I love the look of, but I really wanted to, you know, make that difference here. So that's the, the reason I got this deck. And um, also, you know, just things like all the coins are the only pips that do not have the number on the side of the cards. All the other ones have that Roman numeral there to show you, you know, what, um, what number you have and only the coins are completely free from that. So, ah, that was the deck. Um, <laughs> I know I didn't show every card, although I feel I showed a lot. There is so much to discover here and to unpack here. I'm so going to, you know, zoom in on this deck a lot. It looks like, you know, I've already seen these images. It looks like I already know this deck, but still I'm going to study it. And I don't know you know, what type of readings am I going to get with this deck? I hope it's going to be nice because I am a little bit, even though I love it, I am a little bit still like, oh, this is very traditional and the colors are very traditional, <laughs> you know, and uh, it's a very compact color palette and it's just the primary colors. What I was saying is that I now finally, finally have a very, very traditional Marseille to show you in my Tarot de Marseille video. So I hope that you love this. I hope that you like this. This is a beautiful deck, absolute quality. You know, the box, the, the, the paper that looks original. You should just frame this, really. Maybe I'll frame it. <laughs> and the cards are beautiful. The website of Yves Reno will be linked below. Just take a look and see what you like because really beautiful, beautiful decks. So thank you so much. Merci Yves. And um, I think that's it. Thanks so much for being here. Bye. Au revoir. <laughs>